Hi there! My name is Michael and I'd like to welcome you to the first installment in a series of tutorial videos meant to guide you through the interface of the dispensary user experience on Fetch. This series is structured in a way to help you see from the perspective of each user type, like you, the dispensary owner, your location managers, bud tenders, delivery drivers, or other personnel you'd consider responsible towards the service of your customers. This video will give you an overview of your dashboard. Other videos dig deeper into each section to give you a quick start guide to fulfilling incoming orders. As we navigate to the login screen to access our demo dispensary owner account, I'd like to first thank you for turning to Fetch to help share in the support of your success. It's to this end that we seem to also share in common a goal of delivering the best possible product to every medical marijuana patient or other legally authorized consumer who requests our services. Now, if you've spent any time looking through our public zip menus, you might notice right away that the Fetch search field has changed from green to this orange color. This is your gateway to the business-to-business -business zip menus, listing wholesale items that are delivered to your area zip code. We'll search this marketplace in detail on another video, where we'll show you how to place your first vendor order. Below this B2B search field, you'll see a green user menu. This gives access to areas that allow you to create, for example, location manager logins, lighting up all the functions necessary to post items on local zip menus. Included in your monthly membership is one location manager user account. Don't miss the video where I show you how this user can list products on zip menus, create users like bud tenders, inventory managers and delivery drivers, and manage other aspects of Fetch that will help you run your store. It's under this Manage Locations tab where you can establish additional dispensary locations as your business grows. This Manage Product tab takes us to our inventory management controls capable of receiving, then disseminating inventory purchased from the B2B marketplace down to inventory managers stationed at each one of your dispensary locations. Let's see what's under this arrow next to Manage Users. Fetch is designed to allow you to create management level users with unique abilities. Now, if we've spoken on before, location managers are those who oversee operations from your physical dispensary or delivery-only locations. The Manage Owners link here allows you to create login access for partners, who will then, once logged in, see the user interface also available to you here. We really feel that when leveraged to its fullest potential, Fetch can help make it easier for all of your customers to safely order from you in a way that's most convenient for all parties involved. We've built in a mechanism to allow you to invite your current customer list to Fetch. Every new user who's invited by you into Fetch will then have an attachment to you and your dispensary network, giving you future opportunity for special direct engagement through Fetch. A direct invitation for you also skips their need to be verified. I'll explain. Every new patient or legally authorized customer must first also go through a simple verification process to be allowed to place an order request through the system. If you are one of the verification locations, each new user in the system will have an opportunity to first select one of your locations for a later in-person verification visit. It's here that you or one of your employees can verify this new patient as they come in through the door. This cart menu item opens to controls that relate to orders on both the public and B2B menu systems. Cart refers to the shopping cart holding items that you have selected in the B2B marketplace, ready and in position to check out. The customer orders menu item links back to the page that we started from upon initial login. It's here where you can see a bird's eye overview of all incoming orders from all dispensary locations throughout your location network. This page also allows the ability for you to fulfill orders directly from your user dashboard. We'll go more into this in a minute. Below the customer orders menu item is a link for bulk orders. It will be here we will visit to find our bulk orders for vendor purchases we've made. 
We'll demo that in our dispensary B2B marketplace video. Clicking on the account tab shows links to areas that will allow you to change profile and address information here under the profile menu item. Here you can also see where to change your password and log out of the system. Saved searches refers to your ability to save search preferences inside of our advanced filter system, giving you an immediate one button push recall to searches that have rendered best results. This table below the main user menu on this page represents the stream of incoming orders that are here in varying states of order fulfillment. It's here too that you and your employees, through their respective user logins, will manage all incoming orders from area zip menus. Information like order ID, customer name, and product details can be seen. This is a great opportunity to note that the search feature here will quickly allow you to filter not only by order number, but any data point in the table. The front-facing order table is meant to give enough order information to indicate the highlights of the order. Now a press of the fulfill button starts the beginning of the transaction. Pressing this button represents your acceptance that you have these items and quantities available in stock and intend to deliver to this customer if they meet your internal purchasing criteria. Now before we fulfill an order, you might see a big red dispute button here. Pressing this button indicates to us that there was an issue fulfilling this order, whether a mistake by the patient or some other unintended action caused an error in this request. This gives you an opportunity to close this order and leave customer feedback without the responsibility for delivering the order. This does, however, place a negative mark against this user, who only have the ability to hold four disputes before a fifth removes them from the system for a period of time. That set aside, let's fulfill an order. Pressing the Fulfill button places this lead request into the system now as a transaction in progress, which gives us an opportunity to extend tools that help you and this customer to connect. Now we have an opportunity to view the granular details of this order. Opening this order will give you the information necessary to contact the customer and verify the request. The first step in opening a new fulfillment order is to contact this customer using their mobile or landline telephone. It's also here where you'd either organize a time and location for delivery to the customer or simply confirm the order contents to be ready when the customer arrives to pick up and purchase. It's at the time of payment that change to delivered button should be pressed. Educating your staff on the importance of this action will benefit you as we place each order in a delivered status, completing the order when this step is taken. It's important to close the order here upon payment. Below the customer data information lives the order review summary. It's here where you will find customer feedback as to their experience relating to this specific order. Now let's find an order that might have feedback filled out. Here, you will see that this customer has given the demo dispensary favorable reviews. Dispensary operators can use this information to gauge satisfaction as a measure to improve upon customer engagements. The last thing to see on this page is the transaction receipt, available to be downloaded as a PDF and printed for the customer. That concludes our dashboard review. Subsequent videos in this series will drill down and explore each of these menu items in greater detail, along with a tour of our B2B marketplace. As we log out, I'd like to thank you again for choosing Fetch Me Weed as one of your many business solutions. We hope to be a constant companion, one that's here to help make grow our budding industry, responsibly and to the servitude of the customer. Thank you again, and in the meantime, have a great day.